Hey, this, this is Christine Booker, and I am shining the BMSC spotlight tonight on Gina Heath. Hi, Gina. Hey, how you doing? Girl, I am so excited to talk to you. It's been a while. We've been tagging back and forth, and finally, I have the opportunity to talk to you. How are you tonight? It's great to see with you. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Just got home from work, trying to cook dinner and balance a bunch of other stuff. Okay. But I am here. I'm so thankful for the opportunity. That is excellent. That is excellent. Let me ask you a question. I want to know about your business and I want to know your why. Because I, I think that your story is so compelling and I would like you to to tell us what it is. Well, my the name of my business is uh, Raylan's Gifts and More. And we've been around for maybe about three years. At first, we were uh, raised materials. It uh, blossomed out of a youthpreneur project. Uh, I had a nonprofit organization and my daughter was three, three and a half at the time. Mm -hmm. And she said, she's she's very mature, or she was very mature for her age back then, and she still is. Because mm -hmm. you know how the only only kids are just very, they soak up everything right. that their yeah. parents, whoever they're around. Anyway, so, you know, she saw me pushing entrepreneurship particularly kidpreneurship. And she's like, I want a business. And I was like, what do you want to do? And she was like, I want to do beads. And, you know, when she said something as the only child, you know, she's spoiled. Uh, she gets basically what she wants if it's not crazy, outlandish. So I was like, okay, okay, bet. So one thing about me is, when I buy something, I'm a little excessive. I buy glass beads. I buy stuff to make paper beads. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm the same way. Right. I mean, I just beaded her out. You know, and mm -hmm. as a result, it was beads everywhere. Beads on the floor, beads in the couch, <laughs> beads, just beads in the bed, beads right. everywhere. Because you got a three-year-old and you got beads. So, mm -hmm. okay, I'm saying you're three, three and a half, going on four. So, you know, of course, I'm going to have to take the lead. I can't just say to this young kid, here, here's the beads and here's the little kid. Of, of course, course, we started out with little kids you buy at Walmart. Mm -hmm. But then we excelled our way up. So I knew that I had to get into beating if she wanted to be because I wanted to be her mentor. Okay. So I started studying and found out all this information about how to bead and what kind of knots and this and that. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't get no farther than um, stretch bracelets. Now okay. this is off the subject, but this week, this week and next week, the rest of the month, I'll be teaching at one of the local schools. Okay. Uh, uh, beating one on one. Yes. Now there, okay. there will not be a one on two because I don't know how to do um, the uh, lobster class bracelets and stuff. Oh, like not that. yet. Not yet. I don't, no. No, I'm not gonna do them. <laughs> You're not because I'm <laughs> okay. Not Anyway, let me get back on the subject at hand because sometimes I can be all over the place. You're good. So uh, let me see. She did three. We did vending events everywhere. Um, she did three all the way up to maybe 11. Okay. And uh, you know, was like super proud of her. And people would be like, oh, you got a kid for knowing my hair would get way gigantic and this mm -hmm. and that, and then she finally was like, I don't want to do this anymore. But then we had built the brand and built a fan base. Right. So I couldn't just neglect those people. So I just decided to take the business on myself. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I was still doing bracelets. And I decided I wanted to branch out because I got into all these craft groups, 
on Facebook <laughs> and um, just YouTube University. Right, I can relate. Uh -huh. And I said, oh, I want to know how to sub. And me and my friend was like, mm, we want to get into sublimation, but it's too expensive and this and that. And then we were doing, uh, at the time, the cricket, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the cutting machine with the vinyl. And it would be so funny because I would go to work with vinyl on my pants, vinyl in my hair, especially when I had all night or orders. Right. Because when I switched right, right, when I switched from white raised materials, excuse me, to Raylan's Gibson Moore, I was doing a whole lot of vinyl and, you mm -hmm. know, just really yeah. cleaning up on orders because. As crafters, sometimes the holidays take us up. Yeah. And then we go back down and then right. we flatline. Right. You know, so yeah. you have to be creative. And I admire those people who craft only. Mm -hmm. That's their only source of income and everything. But, you know, with me, I just got to have a nine to five in addition to. I mm -hmm. mean, I may work my way up to that, but. That's not really the desire of my heart. Well, it sort of is, you know, because I don't mind, you know, like crafting all day, every day, because I You're think still about, passionate it all the time. about it. Yeah, it is, yeah. you yeah. know, and, and when I talk about it, I light up or, you mm -hmm. know, I'm real nervous and a real introvert. Okay. Um uh, but when someone asks me about crafting, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. When you ask me about crafting, when you ask me about social services or helping uh -huh. somebody or yeah. blah, 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 I yeah. can't shut up. Right. You know? Well, that just shows that you have a given heart. Right. So basically, just to make a long story short, she had built a brand and we had built a brand together. Okay. And then I was like, I done did all this and you need to, and it started becoming a task for her. It was no longer enjoyable. Right. So I was like, okay, you know, I had to recognize that and say, okay, you know, you're free to do other stuff in school mm -hmm. and all this. They get and, more things. Things. You know, uh -huh. and add more stuff to it. So I started adding the vinyl. Anyway, got into sublimation um, and I said, hmm, what's my niche? And, you know, because I was all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I was my niche. So to um, uh, embark on doing memorial, doing keepsakes, doing fam mm -hmm. family heirlooms, because, you know, I just like the way the reactions of the people yeah. is when you do that. When you're doing the... When you're gifting them, either gifting or when they order or when they purchase from you, mm -hmm. they just you know are happy or because they get to see their loved one again or you yeah. know it's it's just a joy, it's a pleasure. Hey, my why would I do what I do? I mean, why I do what I do? Like if you go to my website, it's not just uh memorial keepsakes it's also custom work and right. then i'm gonna continue to grow my website um it's changed more than once more than twice mm -hmm. i i mean i'm a, I'm a teacher and that's also on my website i offer classes virtually Love and it. occasionally i them in person like the workshops in person i was a sublimation dealer too as okay. well okay a wholesaler yeah okay uh, yeah <laughs> you said sublimation a, dealer, like dealer. can i get that you sublimation <laughs> i need some blanks you say don't say <laughs> yeah you say don't say dealer okay yeah. a wholesaler. <laughs> Excuse me. i'm sorry i was a wholesaler yeah well, sure. actually i still have you know a lot of wholesale here at the house, but oh, okay. I just stopped. Yeah, I, I mean, I do like a a mystery box on my website, but mm -hmm. I don't wholesale like real hard. 
Okay. I used to do a bunch of tumblers and just a bunch of different different items that people wanted. But okay. now I just use I use the remainder of my inventory uh when I was a wholesaler to fill my orders. Okay. And when, when people want something else, they pay in advance and then I order it. Because when I first started out, you know, I just thought I could trust everybody and not take the money up front. And they would be like, oh, I want this. Yeah. So somebody was like, oh, I want mouse yeah. pads. I know. I, uh, know. I, I went out and ordered 12 mouse pads. They still sitting there and they looking at me I like this. And I this. suck as being an Avon and Mary Kay representative. Yeah. Because I trusted I trust everyone you. and I wound yeah. up with orders that weren't fulfilled because of, because yeah. of that. Yeah. I trust them, but they don't trust me. And I'm like, how can I, you know, how, how can I stop making mistakes and being so nice to people and thinking mm -hmm. that they going to keep their word? Because, you know, I've ordered so much stuff and people, it, and I can't use it. Right. So I just be like, here, I'm gonna give it give it away or I'm a I don't know, or it's just still sitting there. You talked about about trust. And with some of your products, you have memorial products. Can you talk a little bit about the, the cremation type products that you have? Okay, well, the I only have I only have two on the website. Okay. However, I ordered I ordered two more. With the other two I ordered are mm -hmm. bezel trays. They're like 12 millimeters. They're earrings. Oh. So if you want to do earrings of your loved one with their cremains, then we can do that. Okay. So the process, the process is we talk, you don't just order and not hear from me. Okay. You know, you find it on my website. You email me mm -hmm. your information. It right. has to be a call. Of course, it's going to be after hours. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say, what are you looking for? What color would you like? This, that, and the other. First, right. I'm going to find out are you allergic? I'm going to make sure of that because, you know, that's very important. But okay. anyway... Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk, we're going to have a consultation. After the consultation, I'm going to mail you. And this is included in the price. After the consultation, you're going to pay and then include it in the price. I'm going to ship you a sterile, like three ounce jar. You okay. only put a half a teaspoon in and okay. then you wrap it up, pack it up real secure send it to the post office i receive it and then i get to work once mm -hmm. i get to work okay. uh i'm not using the cremains yet mm -hmm. i am doing a mock-up but not a mock-up on canva or mm -hmm. anything like that i'm doing a physical mock-up okay. with the resin and the uh mica powders Okay. And stuff like that to do the design mm -hmm. in the bezel tray. I deal with bezel trays, which are not sterling silver. They're stainless steel. Okay. So that's why I say it's important that we have a conversation. Mm -hmm. All of my necklaces are just a, a black rope necklace, like the one I have around my neck. Okay. They're not uh, gold. They're not gold. They're not silver. And that keeps the price down. That keeps the cost down. And mm -hmm. then, hypothetically, if you want to change the chain, of course, you right. know, mm -hmm. you have the you option can to. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. You have the option to change it if you want to change it. Okay. So, um, I do that, and then they'll say yay or nay. So it's a lot of communication between you and me because okay. you're not sending it. You're not sending it to Kansas City and then just being like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to be done. Because it's very sensitive and it's very uh, 
I pride myself in being very respectful, you know, yes. and yeah. you're trusting me to carry this out. So you should be a part of the process. Absolutely. So, you know, it's hard. It, it, if it's somebody, if the client is somebody who doesn't want to talk to me or talk to the maker or the creator, myself, referring to myself, then, you know, it's almost a no-go. Right. But if there's hands-on hands -on, um, communication, mm -hmm. I mean, not like communication like bossing me or anything like that. But more of communication, like, okay, and if you want to open up and talk to me and tell me something about your grandmother, grandfather, yeah. something about your pet. I love that. You know, I, I, love do, that. I do animals. I do animals. So if you want to tell me something about that, oh, or if you want to okay. stretch off to another product, uh -huh. we can do that as well to compliment. Because like I said, Everything that I can do is not on my website. Right. But I want to focus on my niche. And um, so, I mean, if something's in your head and you want it created or manifest it, you can run it by me and we can talk and work out the logistics right. and the pricing. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to focus and hone on what I'm doing. You know, what you see when you log on to rightlensgiftsandmore.org is what you get. Okay. But there's so many okay. other layers to me. Right. Because Absolutely. when I first started, like when I transitioned from ra raised materials, mm -hmm. when I transitioned from all the beads, man, it's something about me, uh, the way my mind is built up. I'm zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. You know, that's just how I am. I, but that's, I that's, like that's your this. your process. You you know, yeah, there's like some people that, that think in a linear kind of way. Right. And, you know, it's this right. step, that step. I'm not like that either. I'm over here doing this and I'm thinking about something else and I'll go over there. So you're yeah. not alone with that. You're not alone with that. So yeah. it's just yeah, a process. And it's funny because the series over is funny. Uh -huh. And it's sad at the same time because <laughs> it carries over in every area of my life, like cleaning up. Uh, you but know, see, you're or, creative. That's just how we we think. We we that's that's who we yeah. are. We know we're High always school, trying college. to figure out how to get to the next yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you do a paper in college or in high yeah. school. You do a paper. Then you halfway stop, then you jump over here and you do math, then you jump over here and do spelling, then you jump up here and wash a few dishes. And, you know, a lot of people can't stand that about me, but, you know, some people tolerate it. But I, I, I always say I mean, it's not for everyone and everyone is not for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it. it's beautiful. It's beautiful chaos because in the end, at the end of the day, when I lay my head down, mm -hmm. you're going to have a new creation. You're going right. to have a clean house. You're right. going to have dinner cooked. It might be late. It might be <laughs> like four in the morning. <laughs> but everything's going to be done. It just, mm -hmm. I'm not the type of person. I'm not wired to do A to B yeah. to C. I mean, I do it at work. I better do it if I want a paycheck. You know, I better complete them tasks. But when I'm on my own time, Man, it's terrible. A lot going on. And I could see that you are invested in your community. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I saw some some photos on your website. And you so know. I had, a, 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 it's not active right now, but a nonprofit organization called Girly Inc. Okay. And uh, what we did, we started out as a mentoring program. And we blossomed into a program that gave underwear to boys, girls, men, and women. Oh, a, a new, brand new underwear uh, that that were underserved in our city, mm -hmm. uh, Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas, in Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas, Independence, just 
anywhere, whether they had a fire or whether they just lost their underwear or. Yeah. And they, that and they said crazy. that's the number one thing, socks and underwear, the number one things that homeless people need or people that are, you know, in general that they need. Right. So I, I really right. commend you for doing that. I really do. Right. You got such a special. So we, mm, I think it was about maybe we did girly ink for underwear for the last three years. Mm. And then this year, the beginning of this year, I was like, now look now, I can't juggle mom, wife, friend, employee, mm -hmm. girly yeah. ink, Raylan's gifts and more. Uh -huh. Queen of no. everything. Queen of everything. Yes. And you were, were yes, you, uh, featured on one of the local news stations? Uh, yeah, I have been a couple of times. Uh, oh, wow. Channel, Channel 41 and Fox 4. Uh, Fox 4 for Girly Inc. and mm -hmm. Channel 41 for Girly Inc. And some of my girls uh, came with me. And two of those girls uh, I still keep in touch with. They are 19 now. They started out with me like 10 and 11. And guess what? They're entrepreneurs. That's amazing. One of them, <laughs> yeah, one of them, she's an esthetician. So I reached out to her uh, stepmom and I said, let Janisha know I'll brand her mm -hmm. for free. I'll brand her for free. You know, just have her send me her logo. Wow. So I'm still helping Still reaching out to those who I plant the seeds with. Right. Because you you're, 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 you're a mentor. You're a mentor. I love right. it. Yeah. So my other community connection, which is not going very well, is called um, Angel Gifts or something I, I put on it, I made up. Okay. Um, and nobody has really responded I put that post out there, and you may have seen the post, but it says, uh, it says, you know, like, if you want a free gift, mm -hmm. then, you know, email me, and okay. I'll put you in a drawing, and I have the drawing at the end of the month, every month. Okay. I, I do that little uh, Wheel of Fortune thing with names, and then it stops, and I pick a name from a person. And then if like if you recommended somebody else, mm -hmm. then they would get it. However, if it's a memorial item, I need the permission of the person that you recommended. Oh, See okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah, you, so are, you are you're offering this on Facebook for folks to join your website or mm -hmm. I did. I did. You have to email me. And then you have to like uh, my uh, Facebook page that is at KC um, Kansas City Collaborative, okay. which is a arts, a arts and crafts. It's also on my website on the first okay. page. Okay. But me and my uh, classmate, we have developed this uh, Kansas City Crafting Collaborative. Mm -hmm. We've developed a collaborative in Kansas City now. Other people could have already done it, but it was on my heart to teach people who want to craft. Because you'd be surprised. I met one of my mentors. I, no, she's a mentee. I'm her mentor. And she told me this last month. And uh -huh. I didn't know. I was like, what? I'm your mentor? She's like, yeah, Coach <laughs> Gina, you my mentor. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> uh, you know we so tag ourselves. We attach ourselves to people. Sometimes they don't even know it. <laughs> but that's... Let that's me tell you what I did. Let me, let me tell you what I did for her. And then I'm going to jump back to the community connection. Okay. So I was on Facebook. I be on Facebook a lot. Or I used to be on it a lot more than I am now. And she was like, yeah, I bought a cricket during the pandemic, but I don't know how to use it. Why well, I call this lady and tell her over the phone how to use a cricket? Mm -hmm. That was two years ago. She done took off. She making all kinds of shirts. 
she making all kinds of stuff. Uh, that's why me and Lori created the collaborative. I mm -hmm. want more people to be empowered uh, mm -hmm. artistically. Right. A lot of women, uh, they bought they um, they bought their cutting machines and other stuff mm -hmm. during COVID, but don't have the confidence enough to produce uh produce pretty stuff or whatever mm -hmm. so uh it's fun when you're not under pressure right. like when right. i have a big order mm -hmm. it's mm, it's it still be fun for me when i have a big order because right. what my drive is is the outcome of how these people are gonna feel like my childhood friend just passed away like two weeks ago. And even though I was terribly sad Saturday at the funeral, um, to see everybody having the pins on warm yeah. my heart. Yeah. And then I had, I had one the day before I had them back to back. And I usually don't go to funerals, but I had to go, uh, yeah. Uh, pay my last respects because these ladies poured into me mm -hmm. and you know my friend on Saturday I loved her and you know I can only hope and pray that she knew how much I did but mm -hmm. um, she did Friday I had yeah Friday I had one and the uh, boy he um, when his mom passed away you know uh, she left a young son. Anyway, I knew I had to make a necklace for yeah. him. I was like, I know I got to do this. Yeah. Anyway, he's a hip hop. He's a hip hopper, you know, because mm -hmm. he's younger. So it warmed my heart to see him have it on at the funeral on Friday. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I know. You know I, I could not attend my best friend's funeral and I made a, a memorial bank blanket for yeah. her mother. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and the next day too, you know, uh -huh. seeing the people with the keepsakes and uh -huh. then I did the mirrors and you hit the button and her face is in there and I gave them to oh, the I kids. Oh, I love and, that. I love that. Yeah. And then I wrote a poem because I write poetry too. Me too. But, uh, I knew I knew we had some things in common. <laughs> yes. yes. Anyway, so uh, mm -hmm. mm, what was what was I gonna say? Okay, back to the community part. Right. So, I mean, maybe I need to push it a little bit better. You know, as far as I mean, my motive is to. Yeah, I want you to know more about my business, mm -hmm. but what I'm doing, I love it so much. I don't mind creating something for a stranger and just mailing it to you because sometimes this world can be so cruel that people yes. need to pick me up or people need, hey, I care about okay. you. I'm thinking about you or, okay. hey, I made this mug just mm -hmm. for you or something yes. like that, you know, yes. because... Because Christine nominated you and yeah. said you need to pick me up. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make you something. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't buy something from me, I'm not in my feelings about it. Right. But just knowing I gave. I mean, I've touched so many people in Kansas City. You know, like I be in Price Shopper and I see somebody with a little necklace on that I made. Mm -hmm. Or I gave to somebody and they gave to somebody else. Or I'll I'll be scrolling through my feed and I'll see somebody with a pair of earrings on with a loved one on them, and I know that I made them. Now you I, know, I love or, that because because you yeah. have your unique your unique way of making them, and you can recognize right. your work, and people recognize you as being a key source in your community. And I, I just love right. it. I, I love it. I know that um, marketing is probably one of your pain points and it is for me as well. And I'm hoping that Ooh. we can connect with some of the other sisters in the Bear My Soul Creatives group so that we can mm -hmm. try to get this thing, uh, this marketing uh, little issue 
for us, get it under control and get our brands yes. out there, our business, our products out there to the people that, that want them. So I'm hoping that we can do that. But you know, the thing about me, Christine, I just want to make stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to market. I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do no bookkeeping, nothing. But I know I can got to do it i right. gotta you know right. well, see, girl here's one it. thing that you can do you can you can make your ad put it on your your facebook group and schedule it mm -hmm. for every day <laughs> if you don't want to mark it yeah and just schedule it that way yeah but um yeah. That's just I, I, I mean i know mm -hmm. i mean i know that there are parts uh in running a business and you have to be disciplined to do that. So it can't just be, if you just want it to be a hobby, then have at it. When I grow up, I do want a craft business, a craft business. And it's more so of teaching people. And one day I'm going to get a studio. One day I'm going to get a studio. I want a studio. I love it. You know, it manifest my, it. Speak it. In my head. Yes. But I want to, I want to teach people. I mean, I love making stuff and all that, but in the next five years, I see myself in a studio or in the next, it could be less than five years, but teaching people, you mm -hmm. know, and just strictly focusing on memorial keepsakes. I love that. You know, part. not focusing on, not focusing on the trendy stuff and all that. I mean, because that's what I'm going to be teaching. Right. And, you know, like I said, some of my students can supersede past me in the dust right. and all that. But right. And you not, want that for them. That's, yeah, that's not even. Yeah, that's not even a, a vex in my spirit. I mean, some people are like, you know, no, it's a conflict of mm -hmm. interest. And it, it's it's, a, it's a competition. <laughs> it becomes a competition. That's, that's it right there. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. join your collaborative because, you right. know, you do sublimation and I do it too. Mm -hmm. But we can both do it together. That's right. There's room. You know, but <laughs> my There's customer room. is my customer and your customer is your customer. Right. And right. guess what? If they need a t-shirt and you make them, I'm going to recommend you. <laughs> And I, I and, I, I, and I already know that what I, I'm going to go on your website and, and look for some yeah. because I do have. Don't call me for all of your hoodie because I'm. I, I'm <laughs> you better call Christine or call Tyrone. You better call, call Tyrone. Me, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do no all of the hoodie. I'll do a t shirt for myself. Hey, you know, we, you know, we gotta know uh, what's in our bandwidth. Um, and we gotta stay within yeah. that. And I can I can tell you You're that lame. sometimes this this it could be draining because you still have your life, you still have other priorities and obligations. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. you know, crafting is a way to kind of get out the get out of your head and 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 get connected you know to yourself to me it's sometimes it's a spiritual process when I'm developing a journal or something like that but right, we right. make time for all those other things in order for us to have right. a well balanced life. So I, I, right. let, I, I there was one more question I wanted to ask you before I let you go and I don't want to let you go because I'm having a good time talking to you. You as as the business owner and you as a genuine spirit, as someone that's willing to help the community and others and people who are grieving, we're coming into December. A lot of people, we've lost loved right. ones. And the work oh, that yeah. you do with your business can bless somebody else. So that's why I am so inspired by you. Can you tell me right. what you have around your neck? Oh, this is my oldest daughter. She's my bonus daughter. Mm -hmm. Her name was Christian Jane Heath. Mm -hmm. And uh, she passed away at 25. You're going to get me emotional because I know. You know I, 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 I know. I felt myself kind of. We got a whole memorial here. 
-hmm. Anyway, this is Nicole Renee. So I wear her pin. Turn it around. Upside down. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I wear her pin on my beautiful. jacket. Yes. Yeah. So oh. I, I mean, I'm be covering in my people in a minute. Yeah. Lord, Lord forbid. But well, you know, that's a wonderful I, way because sometimes you know, with the obituaries, I hate to say it, but sometimes is 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 a waste because you spend a lot of money on obituaries and people. Yeah discard them some people i'm, I'm yeah. old school it goes in my bible but you know for other people yeah, <laughs> i got a bible full of obituaries my, 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 so my, <laughs> my go in the book uh-huh mine go yeah and and you know once you're cleaning up like three years later you find somebody's obituary in a book somewhere or something yeah. like that so I think, you know, I think that it's important for the family to have something else. It now, is. you know, them, them pretty all over shirts, you know, I, I do you a flag, but yeah. I ain't doing no shirt. No, you I, know, I, I was I, doing I've seen the, people do, you know, casket covers and um, all yeah. kinds of, of things that I've, I've seen interested. out there lately. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I try. I tried to get in a class and learn how to wrap a casket and how to do a great blanket, but that's okay. not my ministry. That's not your ministry. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to uh, decline work and not take it if uh, the outcome is going to be bad, or if you give me a picture that's not good quality and I can't run it through my software and fix it, then mm -hmm. I'm going to refund you your money or well that's where the consultation comes in before we even exchange right. money or yeah. anything like that you yeah. know if i can't give you what you want or what you're needing mm -hmm. then i don't want to waste your time you know and okay. just mm -hmm. taken from you it's mm -hmm. such a vulnerable time it is you know for that person so you know, why would you play around and say you could make something? You know, like one time I used to make cakes. I I told you I was everywhere. Every <laughs> anyway, one time I made a cake for my best friend, bless her heart. Cause I know she was like, What in the <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say nothing? She just <laughs> took the cake. And walked out the door, and I was so ashamed. She said you that know, wasn't the minute either. <laughs> it was no. Listen, 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 listen. So it was like um, I it was like a I love Lucy episode. I mean, I had powder all over my face, all over my apron. I right. had fondant in my hair. I, mm -hmm. I was it was terrible, and and the cake it had fondant on it. But half of the fun, it was like this. and uh -huh. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. But, okay. you know, because, you know, you got to put the icing on before you put the fondant on. And it it was just a hot mess. Mm -mm. It was a, a hot mess, that cake. But that's okay. I mess. tried different things as far as crafting, and it just it just doesn't, doesn't work. Everything doesn't work for you. So, yeah. you know, at least you yeah. tried. <laughs> I know because the name of my business was uh just cupcakes. And then she was like, girl, I need a cake. I was like, all right, girl, I got you. I got you. I didn't have her. My purpose in my heart not to do that again to anybody, uh -huh. you know, whether if I know them or don't know them, because uh -huh. this is the age of time where people can drag you. And say, oh, I know it. Uh, unpleasant stuff about you oh, in social it. social media or mm -hmm. word of mouth or whatever. But you know, I think my business is more of word of mouth because oh. people are, you know, people say, oh, well, she made this for me and she can make it for you. And right, it's a lot of people, you know, in this world, in this city the right. nation country that can do the same things I do and you know that's fine 
Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, can't nobody do it like I yeah. do it. There you go. And there you go. It's always your personality. Like yeah. if the person likes your personality, or mm -hmm. you know, if you tr if they trust mm -hmm. you, like for example, okay. So I have a sympathy card with every gift that goes out of here. That's a memorial gift. And it says, um, what does it say? Uh, those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. Unseen, unheard, but always near or something. It says it's inspirational. Yes. Uh, because I'm giving a card to every person, mm -hmm. you know, that's getting a memorial keepsake because everybody is not religious. So you can't push it down their throat and be like, you know, and say to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That's what the Bible says. But if you don't believe in the Bible, here's an inspirational poem because it's the truth. Right. Because when a loved one passes, they just transition on, they end here and lay down the earthly shell. And yeah. then they pick up a new body, a new life and continue to live. We can only hope that we see them again, Absolutely. Uh, you know, in the afterlife. But, you know, like I, I made a tumbler for somebody and they was like, don't put no cross on it. I was like, but I want to put a cross on it. <laughs> it's not. But yeah, I, I, I'm like that about uh, crosses. Like, I don't have any crosses on my wall, right. or I don't have, um, I don't wear crosses around my neck or anything like that. But I said, it just makes but sense. I'm a Christian. It just makes sense. <laughs> I just in don't. In my head, I was yeah. just like, mm -hmm. yeah. In my head, I was just like, it makes sense. It makes sense. You know, but he was like, I don't want one. But I didn't like argue with them or right. anything because the customer is right. The customer wants what they want. That's yeah. just like with the cremation. That's Jewelry. right. It's sold out on my website because with it being sold out, if you really want to do business with me, you're going to email me and say, hey, Regina, can mm -hmm. we have a phone conversation and consult on this uh, cremation jury? Let me tell you what I want mm -hmm. and Put, put some together and yeah. then if I say yay you know that's when we continue our business transaction mm -hmm. but if I put some together and you're like mm, nah mm -hmm. you know I actually then, like that approach especially when you're yeah customization for other people yeah. you have all of the blessings coming to you because you have blessed so many people and i know that you are going to continue to bless people um in what you're doing i love your niche um don't let anybody tell you or sway you from what you're doing because you've been guided and have a purpose and um yeah. Getting to that, I want to know who inspires you. Okay. The the person who inspires me is my husband, Chris Heath. And he inspires me because, you know, he besides just saying, okay, you need to focus. Uh -huh. You know, follow my finger, follow my finger, follow my finger. <laughs> no, but, focus. I mean, just because he's patient with me because I'm like, oh, babe, I want to do this. Oh, babe, I want to do that. Oh, I want to get a silhouette. Oh, I want to try resin. Oh, I want to do this. And, you know, he's been my rock and just there, staying there, dealing with my crazy self. Just, yeah, but he's a, um, he's your support. And I love that because yeah, he has support. He, he is he is my support. Not mm -hmm. only my spouse, but my best friend. And he's like, oh. you know, you he'll turn me back to God to focus, you know, to pray about it, to yeah. see what, you know, to see if he'll give me ideals. And he gave me the ideal to teach people. And mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I want to teach. I want to teach 
little people and medium sized people and big people mm -hmm. and older people, mm -hmm. you know, because they just need that confident boost. Like, right. Because, you know, they'd be scared or they think what they made is ugly or, or, I mean, you have to meet people where they at. My daughter also inspires me because if it wasn't for her, uh, uh, saying she didn't want to do the business no more, yeah. then I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't have developed into the person I did. Mm -hmm. You know, because I was like, you need to make bracelets and this and that, not about all these beads. And he was like, eh, get your life. So I had to get my life. Leave that told baby me, alone. <laughs> <laughs> Let her leave her alone. Yeah. Let her be her. She's a kid. There's beauty in everything. Mm -hmm. So you just got to pull it out of people. Right. And be their cheerleader and say, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. They'd be like, okay, Coach Gina. Right. Oh, right. you're my mentor. And I'm like, I'm your mentor. I'm just being helpful or talking about, you know, what I love and then just teaching you. Yeah. And how can we contact you and get in touch with you? You can reach me by going to www.raylandsgiftsandmore. Um, we'll be able to uh, post the information on on your website, right, Miss Christine? Yes, I will so post the link in the when comments. When you go to my, okay, when you go to my website, it's more like blank canvases to me. I mean, I'm going to say canvases with air quotes because, you know, you're not ordering a canvas, of course, but you're ordering like a tumbler or a, a coaster or a mouse pad or something like that. And it's pretty much blank. The reason why I decided to do that is because I listen to uh, the feedback of the customer, the feedback of the clients and the feedback of people who just come to the website and look and critique. Okay, uh, so uh, a lot of people express them being uncomfortable seeing people that they didn't know um, or kind of uh, throwing them off from ordering or discouraging them from ordering because, you know, they wanted to see their loved one or they wanted to picture or imagine how their product would come out. What makes us so special is we make it as soon as you order it so we're not turn we're not a quick turnaround like a lot of the companies out here are but we try to cater to and get it to you within seven to ten business days um i think that is very special we did talk about niche so i think having that niche is what i want to, to have you know of the custom and the memorial keepsakes i do some ready to ship you know occasionally like i have a clearance section in uh, on my website when you go to collections because you know everybody loves uh clearance yeah uh clearance is my friend you know i like a sale so you know some products will be ready to ship but when it's custom or when it's cremation jewelry or memorial keepsakes, then it's going to take a little bit longer. So I'm going to communicate with the person what the process is on the customs or the memorial keepsake. You upload the picture. It has to be high quality. It has to be good quality or at least decent. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be able to work with the picture if there's a problem with it, then I will contact you. The way the website set up, it has you register with your email address and your phone number. So if you think in the near future, especially around the holidays, if you would consider purchasing anything from me, if you could go to my website after you see this interview uh, and just register for me, um, or subscribe rather, it would be wonderful. I would yeah. be subscribe. I would be <laughs> I would be so thankful if you would subscribe to my website 
And then that way I can keep in touch with you and say, hey, how you doing? Merry Christmas. I mean, I promise not to email you like every day or anything like that. But just if you're interested in any of the sales I got going on or holidays or anything like that, because I know Memorial Keepsakes will be good on the holidays. Uh, I've tried to get like some reactions. I've gotten a few, but like not like that real raw footage because it's a private moment. So that's part of why when you go to my website, you won't see a whole lot of pictures. You'll just see stock images or you'll see those people who have given me permission to post them. But in the business that I'm in, it's such a sensitive uh, situation to post, uh, you know, somebody's cremation jury or mm -hmm. to post somebody's keepsake that, you know, in honor and respect of my clients, I don't do it unless they say, sure, Jenny, you can do it, you mm -hmm. know, or I don't mind because it's helping somebody else or it's teaching somebody else that you're good at what you do or you know, you make a beautiful product. That's that's our goal and purpose is to make beautiful products that you'll be able to cherish for a lifetime that you'll be able to pass on to somebody else okay. or anything like that. Uh, now, as far as the holidays, we are going to be doing 25% uh, off. Uh, I have a lot more ready to ship. Like, um, nursing tumblers and stuff like that if you want you know um i don't want to say i i won't say the c word i won't say cheap i'll say like if you're looking for um a white elephant gift but you still want it to be unique so you can be the talk of the party you know then hit me up on my website um uh next month probably this month too Okay. You know, if you want to start early. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I have more ready to ship on there, at least by the end of this month. I don't have a lot of ready to ship on there now. Uh, I have a few things on there. But it's continuing to grow. Okay. Because so you know, check often. You should check back often to see yeah. what you have to offer. Yeah. Okay. I'm continuing to add new products daily. Okay. Uh, as much as I can, you know. Mm -hmm. And communication is key. Hey, hey, Gina, can you do something like this, A, B, C, and D, or something like that? You know. Okay. That helps me out. Feedback, feedback on my business page uh, at Raylands Gibson Moore LLC. Feedback on my business page is good for me too. Because I listen to I listen to my customers because I want you to become a client and eventually family, you know, not family like we sitting down in Thanksgiving or nothing, Pardon unless me. you want to. There's a lot to eat. <laughs> but I mean like family, like you can call me uh when a loved one passed. Uh I have one client, she calls. Uh, right after she does her Facebook post about rest in peace. And she be like, hey, can you make me some socks? Hey, I need a chain. Hey, I need this. Like she want me to do something for her daughter's 16th birthday party. But we just have that kind of relationship. We've, we've been rocking together for, I think, five years. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, you know, <laughs> she, she, yeah. She stretches me. She pushed me to the limit. My and creativity you meet people to the like limit. that in your circle, though. Yeah, the ones that I like to be that. honest with you. That's you know, like you know, come out and when you're out and about and you know, critiquing you, but in yeah. a, in love, critiquing you in love. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, not like uh. Every time you see me, oh, your work, you know, it could be better. Not like that, but, you know, you're pushing me to the limit. Right. Like, you know, I see greatness in you. I see this. Love. Or can you make me a scarf? You know, she'll say that. Can you make me a scarf? Can you make me a handkerchief? 
can you make a necktie so I can get my brother? And I have a wallet on my website, a men's wallet. And the last time I made one for my coworker, I put his three daughters on the on his wallet. Man, oh. he's still carrying that wallet. He's still oh. carrying that wallet. I'm like, what? That wallet look pretty. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Let me do another one for see. you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> in case he sees this, he'll be like, I know she's talking about me, old shade tree. You know, he cherishes it because his three girls are on there. And then he don't got to carry a picture inside his wallet of them, you mm -hmm. know, because they're on his wallet. Wow. Yep. That's, that's a unique and special gift, though. Yep. Yep. And that's what I specialize in. Mm -hmm. I specialize in unique mm -hmm. and special gifts. Uh, for people. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you for, um, speaking no with, with me tonight and sharing all of your tips and advice and, um, all your knowledge and dropping some gems mm -hmm. for us. I really do. No problem. And I just want to give a uh, last words of encouragement to yeah any creators or crafters or, or uh candle makers or whatever you're doing whether it's real estate or whatever it is mm -hmm. and, and you know you just stumbled up on this video or you're just supporting christine i just want to encourage you do not quit doing what you're doing um you can pause you regroup take time to research stuff and elevate, but then get back up and keep going. Love it. And you will get better. And whatever you do, if you're a maker, a crafter, a real estater, whatever you're doing, a cook or whatever, do not compare yourself with anyone. That's it. Because nobody, nobody is like you. Nobody can do it like you. God made you how you are and whoever he called to be your person is your person. I just want to give a shout out to Tessa Boyd, the founder of Crafting Culture Collective on Facebook. She referred Gina and others to me for the BMSC Spotlight. Please check out that Facebook group and check out the Bearing My Soul Creators private Facebook group for creative black women. We are planting our seeds and growing together. Until next time, do what makes you happy, do what brings you joy, and do what...